Okay, about 537. I've got a good place here, boys. I'm shaded in here in this old hot sun. Let you see that cigarette smoke there. Real, real light right to left wind, okay? This will work right here, okay? I've not got a target set up yet, but I want to show you something here. I'm up here against this truck now. You'll see a walnut tree over there. 92 yards to the edge of that field. So I can shoot about 94 yards here maybe, okay? Probably not going to shoot that far off the bat. I've cleaned this CZ 457 barrel. And I'm going to make a disclaimer here. This gun is not set up like it was when I squirrel hunted with it last season, in case y'all watched my videos. The metal plate in the back pillar is in this gun now. It wasn't in there last squirrel season. 41,000 head space on that little of barrel, 19 inch pounds of torque front and back, okay? So I'm going to shoot this gun five times to foul the barrel. I'll put the target out there. It'll be out there. And I'll take you to that first. We'll just look at it. I can already tell you the first or second shot used out of this gun don't fly too good on a real clean barrel. Okay, target is up there, boys and girls. You see it right there. See it? One inch dot is on there. That's 24x on the camera. Lasers flashing 89 yards, okay? I'm going to shoot five shots to foul this barrel. I'm going to make sure it's nice and foul. And I'll take you to that, and then we'll shoot this thing so. Okay, that's five shots with CCI to foul that barrel. And let y'all see where that first shot hit. It wasn't even close to that dot, okay? I can see them other four holes over in that dot with that scope. That scope's on 15X. Okay, you see the shots there. That one on the far left was the first shot off a clean barrel, okay? And there's the next four shots. Now the wind that's in here is in my face, but it's slightly breaking back to my left, okay, slightly. Alright, well, now we're going to shoot this thing. Alright, now I'm aiming at the top center edge of that dot. Remember now, we're out here, you know, this gun should come in a little low based on my zero. I'm not dialing for elevation, I'm looking for groups. Okay, we've shot down there, 89 yards now, five shots with the Howard in the left pin dot. We're going to go down there and look. Now, the last five, shot of that five right there, the gun went off a little prematurely on me, but it's still in there. We'll go look at this target here. Okay, there's your target. Now, that's a one-inch target dot, okay, and that shot there that's high, the gun went off on me a little prematurely. We're going to shoot some more, though, okay, so you can see that's... It's a little over a half inch group. Okay, not much more. We'll do a little measuring. We'll shoot some more here. I got the camera still running. You see my truck down there? I'm standing right in front of the target and that is 12X right there on the camera. Okay. Okay, five more Hornady down range at the center dot. And I just did that scope up one quarter M away now when I shot these right here, okay? You see it there. Versus the last shots. Okay. The center target was shot five times, but there's only four holes, but I've got a high one there, see it? And then supposedly there's four shots in that dot. Okay. We're going to shoot that right hand dot next, okay? The same horny ammunition. 89 yards. Real nice conditions out here. Okay, you all see that rest there. Now, I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable shooting here. I'm having to reach just a little bit height-wise. I wish, wish I could get this side of this truck down a little, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do here. We'll shoot five more at that right hand dot. Horny ammo. Okay, we're going down here to look at this third group of five here. You see that smoke there, what is it doing? So it's a cutting in on me from right to left a little bit. Not quite, a, not quite, you know, it's still in my face a little bit. Got some, some shots on this tire here that are a little left. We're getting close to it here.
Okay, you see those five there. There's five holes in that, in that one that time, okay? And we're gonna shoot some more. And I may adjust the torque on that gun just a little bit, take some off of it. Okay, we've got a three more dots down there. 89 yards. Now I've took the torque off these screws from 19 to 6 or 15. That's all I've done to it. We're going to shoot us three more five shot groups with this horny ammunition. Okay, I shot them five shots. I didn't like the looks of them at all. Okay, so I took this stock off and I've took that thing out right there. Okay, it goes back here in this hole. I've not ever liked how this gun is ever shot with this in this gun right here from brand new. Okay, so we're going to put her back together and we're going to fire them two right dots down there. I may shoot two two shots at the left dot just since I've monkey with this gun a little bit and let it settle down. Okay, that's five shots with the hardy in that center dot. We're going to go down here and look at this. Some of you people out there with CZ457, you may find this helpful to you. That gun is never shot good with that pillar in the back of it, okay? It's stringy. If you go over there on Rimfire Central, you'll see where I talked about this last year. And all the squirrel heads I shot in this winter, and I made some long shots, boys. That pillar wasn't in there, okay? When you see this target, you'll see why it wasn't in there. Okay. All right, there's the target I just shot, taking that old pillar thing out of there, okay? Notice the string in this stuff stopped. There's where I shot earlier with that thing in there. Okay, my battery's getting low on my camera here. We're going to shoot that right one right there, okay? All right, this target right here is the last one I shot right there, okay? And that's a one-inch dot. I'm going to shoot these three up here. Well, my camera battery's going to die on me. I just, the wind's getting out here so common. I need to adjust this scope just a little bit since I've monkeyed with this gun. Alright, that top center dot there. That's how I had that gun set up now when I killed all them squirrels back in the winter. See it right there? That's a good group right there. Alright. So that gun don't like the pillar in it, okay? I done played with it, but I, I wanted to check it one more time. That's, that's getting into half inch group territory right there with them shots right there. Okay, I shot five more shots in that same dot, okay? Eight, 89 yards. You see that caliber there? That's 10 shots, okay? Now that ain't the best to rest, and I'm having to reach a little bit, but. That's a squirrel rig, boys. That's all I can tell you. I'm probably going to come back up here again later this week and shoot this gun again.